That's a great question, and it goes to the heart of the misunderstanding and lack of understanding in this field for now 363 years. Um, and it boils down to a very simple thing. Hyperbaric oxygen is a treatment that has found effectiveness primarily for wounding and inflammatory conditions. And those two terms actually encompass the great majority of medical conditions such that, uh, and the way it works, and the reason it has such broad application is it is acting at a very basic level on disease processes that are common to many diseases. So if you look, for example, at the typically, it's now 16 diagnoses that hyperbaric oxygen has been misdefined for, um, all of them, it, 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 they, first of all, it, it, just looking at the list, and this has been the big problem in hyperbaric medicine, doctors can't connect the dots, but the dots are all connected by the underlying disease processes or pathophysiology, it's called, for all of these diseases. And that is where hyperbaric oxygen acts. So all living organisms, it turns out, are sensitive to changes in environmental pressure and oxygen level. And what we're doing with hyperbaric oxygen is exploiting that, such that, and primarily at the gene level. So in our chromosomes, a large percentage of our genes, it's now been demonstrated over 40%, of all of the genes in our DNA are sensitive to changes in environmental pressure and oxygen level. And by manipulating that, the dose of hyperbaric oxygen, pressure and oxygen, we are activating or suppressing these genes which are involved in the disease processes for all of these diseases. So when people, and this is one of our most frequent calls to my office, um, uh, my uh, aunt has uh, XYZ diagnosis. Can hyperbaric oxygen help? And I answer it in trying to break it down. Is this a wounding or inflammatory condition? And then, what's the experience with it? Is there published literature on it? What's my experience, et cetera? And then answer the question in that way.